So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how not to use Facebook ads. I'm gonna share with you the three biggest mistakes that people are making that is absolutely killing their chances of success with Facebook ads. Let's get into it. So firstly, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is John Pemberthy. I'm the founder of adclients.com and we help online entrepreneurs to create, launch and scale their online businesses. And I'm excited that you're here. And in today's video, I wanna do something slightly different. On this channel, we usually talk about the do's. We don't so much talk about the don'ts. So I've got tons of content here on the channel about how to run Facebook ads, how to run YouTube ads, how to build webinars, how to build sales funnels, all that good stuff. You can go check that out on the channel. But I wanna share today some of the things that you shouldn't be doing. And it's a little bit of a pet peeve because I see people doing this and I see it and I'm like, man, I know that that ad is not gonna work. I know it's not gonna get the result that you're looking for. And so I wanna shoot this video to share with you the three biggest mistakes that I'm seeing that people are making with Facebook ads that is absolutely killing the chances of success. And I've even got a bonus fourth mistake that I'm gonna dive into at the very end as well, which I think is arguably uh, the biggest and most important. So if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel here, turn on the bell notification. I put out a couple new videos every single week. And also drop me a comment on the video right now if you are currently using Facebook ads in your business, whether successfully or unsuccessfully. I'd just love to know how many of you are actually attempting Facebook ads right now. Let me know in the comments box. So the first biggest mistake that I see people making is that they are being too salesy too early, right? We are viewing Facebook ads and even other advertising platforms as a means to generate a sale. And of course, yes, that is the that is the outcome. That is the end result, but people are thinking about it too early. We seem to think that our Facebook ad is just directing someone immediately to buy something and we need to let them know what it is that they're buying, how much it is, you know, give them that salesy spiel right there in the Facebook ad. If you have a Facebook ad that says something like, you know, sign up today for our dog training course, you know, 50% off or, you know, come over here to get this, that and the other. If that copy is leading your Facebook ad, you are being too salesy too early. Now there is one caveat to this, which is obviously remarketing, retargeting. Okay, that's a whole nother story. If you have already been exposed to someone with your Facebook ad, and now you're following up again and letting them know about the thing that they didn't sign up for and giving them a second chance, that's different. I'm talking about cold traffic. You have to realize that when you are using Facebook ads, that ad has one job and one job only, to grab attention and move them through to the next thing. So in fact, there's probably two things, grabbing the attention and moving them into the next step. That's it. You're not using Facebook ads when, when going out to cold uh, you know, audiences that have never heard of you, your product, your brand before, you're not trying to marry them on the first date. That would be a really, really foolish thing to be attempting to do. You need to take each step at a time. And that first step is stopping them in the newsfeed by grabbing the attention and then enticing them to move forward to the next step. Your sales funnel, your website, your sales vehicle, the consultation you'll offer them, all of that stuff happens after they click from the Facebook ad. So this is really important. Do not be too salesy too early. This, you know, some of the big companies do this. You know, if people are trying to get you to sign up for their credit card or take out an insurance policy, right? You see this all day long. They are just running an ad that just tells you to come get an insurance quote or tell you to come sign up for a credit card. Look, these are huge companies with gigantic marketing budgets and they are not monitoring their ads as closely as people like you and I, right? We are smaller fish in a, in a much bigger pool in that, in that sense. And so we're more careful with our ad spend. So who I'm talking to in this video is not the Coca-Colas of the world. I'm not telling you that you need to, to stop being salesy. I'm talking to people who are coaches trying to get more clients. You sell an online course. You are trying to build your email list. You're doing affiliate marketing, right? You're doing these things. Well, we need to make sure that we're putting $1 in to Facebook ads and we are reaping the most back out that we possibly can. Okay, this is who I'm talking to. The second biggest mistake that people are making with their Facebook ads is not connecting to their audience emotionally, right? And you can put, you can frame this another way, not demonstrating in the copy of your ad or even in the video that you're running as an ad that you understand the audience. And by demonstrating you understand them, you will stir them emotionally. It's really, really important. If you are just super flat in what you're saying and you're just very factual, about what you've got going on, 
That doesn't excite someone to move forward. Like think about it, if you are trying to train your dog, okay, that's something that right now is a sticking point and a frustration for you. If you see an ad that just pops up, hey, dog training, you know, come and sign up for a class, $30, $30 an hour, you know, we'll, we'll help you with your dog, right? Like if you see an ad like that, Yes, that's what you need in that moment. So yes, you might be enticed to move forward, but there's no emotional uh, connection there. There's no relatability to that ad or that company or that brand. Whereas if you saw a Facebook ad now, where perhaps it was a story about someone who was struggling to train their dog for the longest time, they started to feel like giving up, it just wasn't working until they figured out this really weird little trick that seemed to work and they started to do it over and over and over again. And finally, things started to click into place. And now they've got this quality of life with their family and their dog that is way better than they ever experienced. And, and they got to there from a place of wondering if things would ever change and, and all this frustration that was going on. Like if you saw a story or a video or an image that was you know, a happy family with a dog and then that was the story in it, like that would emotionally compel you because you'd go, man, I can relate to that. That's making sense, that's where I am right now and I'm needing that help. That ad right there will beat out every single time an ad that just says, come sign up for our dog training course, right? So we've got to connect with our audience emotionally to stir up the pain that they have because you then have the solution for that pain. The third thing kind of goes hand in hand with point number one, which was not being too salesy. Point number three is not leading people through stages of your sales cycle. I've kind of alluded already to the first stage, which is they're on the Facebook ad, and now you wanna lead them into your sales process. Well, that is the first step of a journey. They're going from your Facebook ad into your world, and they are gonna go on a few more steps, and you have to, you have, to have the end in mind when you're running your Facebook ads. I've got this concept that I teach my clients and, and you can probably see about it on my channel here somewhere. I call it the backwards approach to creating a marketing campaign. We first decide who it is we wanna serve and what we're wanting to sell them. Then we create the message that's gonna to relate to them. Then we create the sales process and then we create the ads. And that whole thing is happening in a journey. And you have to view it like that. You can't expect someone to come from your Facebook ad and this is, you know, kind of the reason why I'm reiterating this from point one is in point one, I mentioned don't be salesy in the Facebook ad, but you might take from that, okay, John said, don't do salesy stuff in the Facebook ad. So as soon as I get into my website, I'm just gonna bombard them with the sales message. No, that's also not the most appropriate way to do it, right? There's more stages than that. You might have them sign up to a webinar that just feels like a ton of value. In fact, it is. But you know they're registering for a webinar, that just feels really good. Then they attend the webinar, then they get some value from you, then you position your offer. Perhaps they come and sign up for a lead magnet, that doesn't feel salesy, you're offering something cool, they opt in for it, they move forward to the next step. You see what I'm saying? There are stages to this thing. So you don't be too salesy too early, uh, and certainly not in the Facebook ad, make sure you've got your sales process dialed in, and you know at the right point for your audience, with your offer, in your industry, you know the right point to actually bring out the sales message. And I've also got a fourth bonus point, which again is arguably the most important one, which is biggest mistake people are making with Facebook ads is constantly going on this hunt for the cheapest traffic. My word, like this is one of the biggest ways to just dig a pit for your business and just throw it in. Like if you're doing that, you're missing the very fact that ad costs are continuing to go up and that's going to continue to happen. So if you're constantly in this hamster wheel trying to chase the cheapest traffic and if you ever generated a lead on your list for a dollar, well now nothing more than that will satisfy. You have to get leads for less than a dollar because you know it's possible. If you're building your business in that way, you are throttling the growth of your business and you're actually putting yourself in a very detrimental position because your competition are going to be crushing you. Because if they can afford to pay more for that traffic, if they can afford to acquire a customer for, for more than you can, then they're gonna win those customers all day long. Don't forget, Facebook is an auction. You are auctioning for that traffic. If you are always putting in the lowest bid, always trying to get the cheapest traffic, you're not only never really gonna win over people who are bidding more, you're gonna get the traffic that is perhaps not quite as valuable, not quite as qualified, not quite as targeted for the offer that you've got. What you should focus on more is making sure that your sales funnel is profitable. And if it's profitable, you can begin to spend more to acquire a lead, more to acquire a customer, and bring them into your world because you're making enough money on the back end to make those numbers work. And if you can do that, now you're building your business for scale, not constantly shrinking it and, and keeping it in this cage.
So anyway, those are the four biggest mistakes as far as I'm concerned that people are making with Facebook ads. Hopefully that was helpful for you. Listen, if you want to learn more about Facebook ads, myself and my business partner, Jabril Agora, we've been running Facebook ads for many, many years now. We spend a considerable amount of money on the platform. Between the two of us, we've spent millions on the platform and we'd love to help you and we'd love to teach you what we know. We've put together a free online training that you can check out. I'll leave a link in the description box in the top comment. So do go check that out. I think you get a ton of value from it. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notification to be notified of future videos that we're putting out. And finally, don't forget to hit the like button and leave me a comment on this video if you've enjoyed it. It's the only way that I know you're actually getting value from this if I see those likes and comments coming in. So with that, thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.